And we have in Europe, in Western Europe, a kind of, I would call, embedded left, a kind of caviar left, a kind of left who always invokes a lot of pretexts well, Bush is not good, but Milosevic neither, well, uh, the NATO I don't like, but, and so on, and neither the Jews, neither the Palestinian resistance, and so on, so always a pretext to do nothing. So that's a big problem, and of course, they do not challenge, they do not fight against the media lies, and that's a, the whole problem, because what we need is alternative information. If information is the mother of all battles, the question is, what can we do to organize alternative information? And now, if you allow me as a friend of Serbian people to make a friendly critic, my critic will be, why do we not receive information from your country? I heard here a lot of things, why are they not translated? There are a lot of things very interesting in this country happening and they don't get to the world. They are not translated, they don't go through internet, there is no... It was also a weak point during the war, the international communication. I think your past will be only, and your present will be useful only if it can help other people to change their situation, to face the, the threats, and also change the situation for your struggle in the future. I would like to say their struggle, their war, and yours, it's the same, because it is always the same war, everywhere. It's not a war against Slavic people. That's not true, because you have Slavic Slavs who are resistant here, and others, and you have also Slav traitors, and some of them are not very far. And it's neither a war against Muslim people, because you have Muslim people resisting in Palestine, in Iraq, everywhere, and you have Muslim traitors. So it's a question of always the same economic war, the same war for the multinationals and their strategy. <laughs> if that is so, and it's certainly true that it's the same war, because in 93, I saw a very interesting analysis from three analysts of the RAND Corporation describing the NATO new tasks, new tasks. And their conclusion was, NATO must go out of its area or go out of business. Go out of its area or go out of, bi of business. This means Yugoslavia was a preparation for a world war with several chapters and NATO is now active in Afghanistan, wants to be active in Middle East, was also making maneuvers all along the coast of Venezuela. As Ramsey said, it's a long time that NATO should have been abolished, and now they are active in Middle East, in Afghanistan, in Venezuela. It's now becoming the cup of the world. We have to do something about that. I'm, I think we should talk a little less about what happens, because in this room we all know what happened and we understand it. I think we should talk more about what we can do in the future about alternative information. And I would like to encourage you to have, without any money, a small web page, active in French and soon in Spanish and in English too. We publish in French 12 articles each week from all over the world that we translate. And so people can have alternative information, alternative media. And please help us for that. Send articles about here, make translations, uh, help us to find publishers for the movies, documentaries we, we are making. I'm working with a Franco-Yugoslav girl called Vanessa Stojilkovic. She's a young filmmaker. She has made a wonderful film, wonderful film about the damned of Kosovo, explaining the real NATO strategy and the situation now in Kosovo. She has made a wonderful film about Venezuela that should be translated and presented here. She made last week a uh, short interview of Shika Jovanovic, There is no humanitarian war, explaining the lessons of this, and it's now on YouTube, and it's nine minutes, and you have a concentrate of what's happening there. And please help us for that. 
I told you the story of Goldberg expelled. We, we send that to the Bolivian people, so you, it is a help. And what you have to know is Goldberg is now working in Bolivia, or his team, with some Croat fascist refugee called Marinkovic. So Marinkovic is the head of the left fascist uh, uh, coup d'etat in Bolivia. We have to do something about that. We need information about his family, about his links, about the network, and so on. That's the kind of thing we need to publish. So in my conclusion, I would like to encourage you to, to help us and to help yourself. As I said, information is the mother of all battles. Well, you lost one battle, may I say we lost one battle, but I'm sure we will win the war in the end in condition that we really fight for that information. We, we will win the war, and that's the only just war. I mean the war for sovereignty, independence, peace, and social progress. Thank you very much. Fala Lepo.